Welcome to the Voodoo Nations Kickstarter. We wanted to talk to you guys quickly about our project. Uh, you know, I am joined here with Luke Stone. Um, and let's let's talk about it. Luke, Luke, you may want to take that Voodoo Nations down. I know it's there exciting go. logo. It was, in front of our, talk about. it was in front of our faces. No one could see us. All they could see was Voodoo Nations. And that's right, crazy, it was exciting. Right? Yeah. yeah, So I'm excited. So, yeah, we are the writer and the artist team. Uh, in a rare, 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 rare thing, both of us are together promoting the Kickstarter. This is rare in a Kickstarter world. It, it is rare. Um, um, it's 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 rare that the artist and writer actually work together, like kind of like co-creator of stuff these days, too. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So we came up with this concept. I sent it to Luke a long time ago. It's called Voodoo Nations. What it is about two missionaries. They go to Brazil and they get really hell hell deep. Hell deep is that? That's a good word. I like that word. Yeah. They get deep into uh, the voodoo culture and the voodoo nations. So it's basically a religious clash between Christianity and and voodoo and the differences between the two. Yeah, yeah. and it's pretty cool because uh, it's written from uh, kind of the standpoint and the viewpoint of a of, of a couple of Christians actually. So um, not that this is like one of those like Christian books that's in your face or anything because it's by far it's not that at all. But uh, it does we do have some contextual understanding of the. Of the of the subject matter, so uh, it really works. Yeah, and we're, we're writing modern day uh, ministries. So modern day is they're very cool people, you know, heavy tattooed, heavy heavy thing. It's not your mom and pop stuff. And if anybody knows me from broke down and four dead bodies, or for him from hybrid, you know that we do things very very different than what you expect from us, right? Uh, you know, I'm a lot of action, lots of stuff. But this book is really really cool. It's a four issue mini, and we're going to be world trekking. So we're starting off in Brazil. Then we're going to go to New Orleans. We're going to go to Mexico. We want to get you on the ground floor. So first, let us show you some of the really cool covers that we have for this book. Go yeah, ahead. sure. Yeah, I'll start out with the it's the standard cover here. Yeah, it's standard cover. Uh, Luke, Luke created that one. I love it. It's it's one of my favorites. Yeah, that was actually in response to we had started out with um, let's do and then with the day night covers. Yeah. So we had, we did, uh, this is my first idea for, well, your idea for a cover was to do um, uh, Bishop Lucas on top of the, uh, on top of the uh, Christ the Redeemer. And yeah, then, that's not, so for those who don't know, I think most people know, but if you don't, Christ the Redeemer is a giant statue. I think it's like uh, 25, 50 stories, something like that, 30, something huge. huge. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. Um, yeah. And uh, I wanted to have something where this this mockery of, of Christianity, because Bishop Lucas, the name Bishop uh, is, we're not going to spoil it for you, but Bishop is not a normal voodoo term. And there's a reason why he has that Christian, Bishop is used in Christianity, why he has that term now. And it's it's kind of cool, and you'll see that. But we have a day-night cover mm -hmm. that uh, that Luke's showing you. Day cover? Both variants can be getting the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, this beautiful cover. Oh, yeah, that is Stanyak cover. Stanyak, that is a must-have. If anybody knows Stanyak, we love this cover. This is our favorite. We have this in Standard and Virgin. All sorts of really cool stuff in this Kickstarter. Um, we love it. We're going to show you some of the interior pages in just a second. But the reason this book is is not only normal, it's huge. It's a 30-page book, 30 pages of story in this book. Mm -hmm. So, and the standard, the costs are very, very low. We're doing free shipping on everything we have. So you're going to get that in the digital. As you see, the book is complete. Look right there. You have all the pages right there. Well, complete. Almost complete. Uh, right. There is page 15 and we can't complete it until we get people to back. Yeah. How do we complete that page? Like it's missing. Like there's no inks. What do we do? Yeah. So here's the thing. So uh -huh. all of these kind of placeholder faces are all going to be people. So I'm going to, we're going to draw people's faces in there and they're going to have an opportunity to be in the congregation on Ash Wednesday, um, right here in Voodoo Nation. So, uh, they and, actually and get to be in our congregation. In the comic, right. This yeah. is the most important scene in the comic, really like yeah. this, the, this, this scene and the page next to it are the two cornerstones of everything in the story that really changed. So yeah, yeah, we want is, you to stay part, but want you to be in it. Yeah. This is really where the, where the real darkness of the story starts to come in and where the real, um, the, the tension is really truly built. It begins to build here and then it just, it all goes downhill from here. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Yeah. We want you to be part of it. We would like you to be part of our story. And if, if yeah. this, you don't want to draw yourself into it, 
why don't you help us for issue two? We have a pledge level for issue two where you can create one of the voodoo priests that we're going to use from New Orleans. So you oh, can be awesome. part of it. You can be in a, me a session with me and Luke, and we're all three of us are going to sit down. We're going to talk about your ideas. Luke is going to sketch it out, and we're oh, going to figure sketch out. It. You yeah. can help make make the big bad guy for issue two. So that's an option too. We want to really have you part of this adventure with us. Yeah, absolutely. So a uh, couple of things that, you know, just some pages that have been kind of fun drawing and, and we've yeah. been able to show some of it. Um, really enjoyed. Here's some pencils from, from one of the pages. Uh, yeah. You obviously there's, you're going to be seeing some, some finished art with that soon, but this is, um, uh, this has already been inked and everything. And so the colorist is, is finishing that up right now. So uh, that one was really fun to do. Uh, Lucas is one of the, I, I think one of my favorite characters to draw. And I, I obviously I draw a team book yeah. you know, before this. And so I've got a lot of fun dynamic characters, but uh, I think Lucas is Bishop Lucas is probably one of the most uh, devastatingly wicked characters that I've ever, that I've ever drawn. And so you can kind of see that in his eyes. I like to try to draw that in his eyes. So. Yeah. And you, he's uh, for the people who are wondering, he's kind of like a cross between Loki and Negan. So he's got that Loki, Loki masterminding and uh, the, the Negan attitude of the way he handles his people and, and controls them. And lo I love that. That's one of my favorite pictures of the whole book. Yeah. The whole page really kind of works, as you can see. It's just this flow. It's, it's, a, it's a short, like, three-panel page. But, man, it's, it really has kind of all of that kind of mood and everything in there. And you can really get the feel of, of uh, really kind of the wicked that you're dealing with here. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And one of my favorite pages to draw, it took me forever, was the uh, two-page uh, two page spread here. That uh, I don't, I don't want to give too much away, but do you have anything to I say mean, about that one? <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's a beautiful picture. Uh, it really encapsulates the story and where we're at. As you see, it's a big epic scene. Um, and we're doing a lot of cool things in this book. We have a backup story um, as well. I don't, I don't think we got pictures from that to, to show, that. but uh, the backup story, we have some people right in the backup story. So we've done a lot of really cool things that are cool to check out, but you can see them right below, right below where we're at on the Kickstarter. Just kind of check it Just out and do stuff. Scroll down and look at it. Yes, scroll really down. Cool. We have all the pledge levels. Please support us. Help us get this. Our goal for this book is to not only get it out to you guys, but we're going to shop this around. So you're going to get the very early version of this book before we shop it to whoever could be the publisher. We have to self publish it. We have no problem doing that, but we really want to get this uh, into the mass market as quickly as possible. You could get an early edition, uh, the very, the quick early draft. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this. If you liked broke down, you're going to love voodoo nations. Uh, the writing is a step above. I think it's great. Uh, if you liked hybrid stories, you're going to love voodoo nations. It's just, it's one of these stories. It's, it, it's taking you everywhere. The characters are um, endearing and likable and, uh, even even the bad guys sometimes have some some uh, redeeming qualities that make them even more wicked. I'm telling you, these it's, this is a good this is a good book. Um, yeah, it's it's really really cool. We've got a lot of options. We really want you to back us. And like I said, there there's a lot of opportunities for for things in the future, for CGC, all sorts of really cool stuff. Because Luke and I uh, are in Florida together, so there's a lot of opportunities. We want it signed. We want to be part of this, and we want you. If you see a pledge level like, hey, I would like this, but I don't see it, tell us. We're we're gonna add those things. We really want this to be a community based project. We feel very strongly about this project. We hope you do too. Yeah, and I think one of my favorite um, uh, pledge levels is we have a sketch cover. And oh, yeah. Going to get, and so I normally work digital, but I'm going full on pencils for this one. And so you're going to get a, a, a sketched cover, uh, which is going to be really cool. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And so you're going to get some kind of uh, some kind of facial like tight of, of right. uh, Lucas, which is one of my favorite things to draw. Literally, I'll sit around and doodle Lucas because he's so much fun to draw. Yeah, so so back us. Be part of this process. Help us out. Uh, help us fund this campaign. Uh, like I said, anything you need, we're going to be on all sorts of podcasts, all sorts of different things to get this message out there. But we need your help. We need your help to back this, and we need you to share this out. Help make this book as possible. We're still we're in the hole a lot to, to get this done. So we need your help to get this to printers so we can get it to you. We've we funded the whole project. It's already drawn. It's being colored right now. We paid for all the color colors. We just need to get this printed and out to you guys. That's it. Yep. And um, 
like he said, we're both here in Florida, so we're going to be working hard to make sure those packages go out as soon as the printer gives us those uh, gives us the hard copies. It, we're looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great. So um, please support us. Please back us. And without further ado, hit it. Your money. Hit it. <laughs> hit the Buddha Nation. We got to we got to fade on the white, the scary white. <sighs> Bye.